Hi, this is John Park for Adafruit. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Circuit Playground PZ1, which is a pizza box DJ controller. So what is a DJ controller? This is a MIDI controller used to control DJ software on your laptop. Now, laptop DJ software can be controlled from the keyboard. For example, Now, the problem with this is that you've got a lot of key commands to memorize, and it's not super ergonomic. Now, you don't have to use the keyboard. Of course, there are some great solutions out there, such as MIDI controllers, like this little mini UNTS I built. It uses lighted pads, and you can assign these buttons to different controls in the software. Or, you can get turntable-like controllers. Now, this one's actually from a video game console, but it's pretty similar to ones that you'll see out there that are designed expressly to control your DJ software. So what I decided to do was check and see if I could create a MIDI controller using the Circuit Playground. What I have here is a Circuit Playground, and I've uploaded some code on it that both sends MIDI signals when I touch the various buttons and pads, and it's also sound reactive, so you can see the lights lighting up as the volume changes in the room. With this controller, I've actually got some alligator clips and pennies connected to them so that I can use the capacitive touch sensors. For example, now this is pretty cool, but one problem with it is that it's a little hard to keep track of which controls do what, and it's also sort of a weird floppy interface to take to the club. So what I decided to try next was a pizza box and I used some conductive paint to create little traces. And when I touch those traces, it would send the signals via MIDI over to the laptop. Now, this is pretty cool, but I didn't love my freehand painting attempt. So what I'd like to do next is show you how to create your own conductive ink circuit using a stencil and conductive paint. I decided to create one on the computer using CAD software and then cut it out on laser cutter. So I started out with this 12 by 12 inch piece of 7 mil mylar and after running it through the laser cutter we get this beauty. Now it's time to paint this stencil onto my pizza box. I'm gonna start off by spraying the back of it with a little bit of spray adhesive so that the stencil sticks nicely to the cardboard. And this spray adhesive helps with some of the very small pieces so that they don't lift up or get paint underneath them, which could short a circuit. You can see on this one that I sprayed earlier, in some places I broke what's going to be my contacts with little lines so that the stencil doesn't flop around too much, and then those lines can be painted over after the stencil has been transferred. Looks good. There is our Circuit Playground PZ1. Now what we'll do is take a small brush and fill in any of these little breaks that were there to help the stencil stay in place. Just paint over those breaks. Let's take a look at the functions of the PZ1. We've got Q, start and stop for the left deck. We've got scratching for the right deck. The buttons on the Circuit Playground will play deck A and start effects on deck A. And then I've got a uh, trash for the hot cue so I can start new cues later in the track as it plays. And I've got a play for deck B for when I'm not scratching. And then these two I've got assigned to triggers so they can loop sound effects, but you can reassign them to anything you want using the MIDI controller software. Now I'm gonna attach my circuit playground with a little bit of conductive paint. You should be careful when you do this not to blob on too much because then it can fill in the gaps and our traces will get connected or short-circuited. I'm just going to put a little blob of paint in the center. The paint has dried on the circuit playground and now we're ready to fire it up. I'm going to plug this in and I've set up the MIDI controls to work with these surfaces, so let's give it a spin.
That is the Adafruit Circuit Playground PZ1 Pizza Box DJ Controller. Now I got a delivery. See ya.